everybody, Dr. Darok here, and today I am bringing you something totally unique. I am bringing you a special, um, custom made by me adventure map for Pixelmon. And I encourage you to just sit back, watch, and enjoy the story. And if you like what I'm doing, then make sure you share this video. So, I'm gonna pick Mudkip, the obvious choice for a, uh, new Pokemon journey, and, uh, here I am in my house, in a new, oh, what's it called? I can't recall what this place is called. It's New Something Town, anyways. Um, and I, I just moved here yesterday. So, uh, good morning, Mom. Or is it night? It's night. I'm going to sleep. Good night, Mom. Oh, there we go. It's morning. Okay, so what's up, Mom? Hi, sweetie. Have you been back to Professor Ute's lab to thank him for giving you that lovely Pokemon? I'm sure he'll be able to help you with your new Pokemon journey. Professor Uke, huh? I'm not sure I remember that. Is there anything in here? Yes. Of course there is. The traditional potion that's inside of your house. Come on. You can't have a Pokemon game without a potion inside your house. Um, you may notice that I'm playing this with some shaders on, and I hope that's a uh, nice. Look at that. That's pretty. Oh, hello. Who are you? Transport to New Drop Town is now unlocked. Okay, so yeah. New Drop Town. That's where I live. Right. Now I remember. Thank you, Antonio. Hi there. My name is Antonio. I travel from town to town all day to train my Pokemon for endurance marathon running. If you'd like, I can take you to any town we've met in before. Uh, okay. Cool. Thanks, Antonio. Now I know what your purpose is. You can press L to open the quest log. Okay, thank you. Oh. I'm wondering where that shadow was coming from. Hello? Is anybody home? Professor Uke? Oh, hey, there you are. Hey, come here. What are you doing? You're running around. Hello? Oh, hello there. What was your name again? Oh, uh, all right. It was Dr. Dara. Came by here yesterday and picked the finest starter I had available. How is your Pokemon journey going? You know, as the professor of the Urine region, it's my duty to, to, to set new trainers on the path of starting a Pokemon journey. Can I help you at all? Um, who are you again? My name is Jack Eucalyptus. The trainers in the Urine region fondly refer to me as Professor Uke, or sometimes just Uke. As Pokemon professor for the region of Urine, it is my job to assist aspiring trainers in any way I can, as well as to carry out research on Pokemon and give new trainers their starting Pokemon, as you already know. Thank you. Uh, th where did you go? Did you walk off while you were talking to me? Hey! Look at me when you're talking to me. What's wrong with you? You're so rude. Come here, talk to me. Hello? Okay, so I'm not sure how to get started. Well, you can start by learning how to craft Pokeballs. If you have any trouble, ask my aide, and I'm sure he'll give you a hand. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, hey, potion. Yes. Anything else? No? Ah! I almost had myself tricked. So, let's see, can I... How are you doing making that first Pokeball, Dr. Darok? If you need any help, you can ask my aide. He'd be happy to assist you. Alright, I guess you're too busy. So, you... Oh, hello. Ah, I found a potion! Yes! So, Yukes told you I would show you how to make a Pokeball, huh? It's really very simple. You need apricorns, iron ingots, and some buttons. You'll also need a hammer and an anvil to work with. Any more questions? Uh, where can I find some apricorns? We're growing red apricorns here at the lab. You can find them in the greenhouse out back. If you can't find them, I'll sell them to you cheaply. Um, okay. So, where can I find iron ingots? Well, usually you'd have to find some iron ore and mine it with a stone pickaxe, then smelt it in a furnace, but I'll tell you what. If you can bring me some wood or other materials, I may be able to supply you with some iron. Okay. Um, how do I make the hammer? You can craft a hammer out of any material most tools can be made out of. The recipe is simple. If you want to make a wooden hammer, you just do this. Okay. Beautiful. Um, what about the anvil? I know how, how to get stone buttons. Well, usually you'd craft an anvil out of eight iron ingots, but there's one you can use here in the lab. If you, 
want to craft your own, the recipe is like this. Okay, awesome. I think, uh, I think that's everything I need to know. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Ah, sweet. Another potion and some more gold coins. Ah, sweet. Oh, there's an iron ingot in here. That's very useful. Saves me a little bit of trouble. And there's coal in each of these, too. That's fantastic. So he said they're growing apricorns out here. Oh, yeah. They have a crap ton of apricorns out here. Sweet. Okay, that works. I think that's, I think that's good enough. That should be more than enough. Um, let's see. I'm also going to need materials to make the thing out of, right? So, if I come around here and... Alright, so I'm definitely going to want to, uh, find some wood. Okay, this isn't bad so far. This is not bad. This doesn't seem like it'll be that bad getting started on my Pokemon journey. Making Pokeballs. That's awesome. I can't wait. Oh, goodness. Uh, that's not the right tree for me to cut down, I don't think. Uh, there's an intimidating... Old, is that Rhyhorn? Level... 3.30! Oh, no. Oh, Mudkip. Mudkip, if that thing comes over here, please protect me. I don't know what to do if it attacks me. Mudkip, if that thing comes after me, I loved you, buddy. Oh, wow, there's a nice breeze out here today. The, um, the oak leaves are just waving in the breeze. Oh, wow, look at that. Magikarp's in the water. And... Wow, it's pretty. What a nice day it is outside. Oh, what's this? The gym is being moved. Oh, okay. I guess there was a gym in this town. I wouldn't know. I just moved in yesterday. Oh, that sucks. It would have been nice if there was a nice, convenient gym right in the town that I start in. But no, it can't be like that, can it? Screw that doorbell. Hey, Professor Uke, go through the door. Come on. There we go. All right, Professor Uke. Hello? Okay, well, whatever. I'll just, um, let's see. Hey there, you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm doing just fine on the Pokeball, dude. Uh, I'm getting there. Okay, is there anything in here? Yes. Okay. There's a potion. There's a bed. Ah, stone and iron. Yes. That's exactly the only things that I still needed. There we go. Cool. So I guess what I'm going to do next is... Let's see. I come over here, right? And let's put some of these in this furnace here. And while that's going on, I'm gonna take my iron ingots and put them like this to make iron discs. Okay. Put my stone buttons in here, make a button. And then I'm going to... Oh no, I don't have the apricorns yet. I guess I'll make the uh, hammer next, right? Let's see, so I'll make this hammer... Just like this. Get some sticks. All right, and put those right there, and the sticks right there, and I've got myself a wooden hammer. Perfect. Uh, I've got enough of these now to make the pokeball lid. So just do like that. Same as with the iron, and make a pokeball lid. All right. Good deal. Now I think what I'm supposed to do is take these over here and beat on. I think while I'm doing this, they uh, change shape. I'm pounding them out into into the spherical shape of a Pokeball. That's what these anvils are for. So I'm just going to do that for, for a couple seconds here, and I think that should be good. There's like three stages that it goes through, and each one uses three durability, so if I keep my eye in the top corner up there, I should know when it's done. Yeah, just like that. So now I've got an iron base, and now I'm going to pound out the shape on the Pokeball lid, right? I think this, I think this, I think this is right. 
Oh, oh dear. That anvil is dancing. We've got a dancing anvil, everybody. What the heck? That is bizarre. Goodness, I really, I don't know what's going on with that. Uh-huh. All right. Now I've got a Pokeball lid. Ooh, a legendary has spawned. That's interesting. Pokeball lid, iron base, button. Yeah, I made Pokeball! Awesome. You've created your first Pokeball. I'll give you a few more to help get you started. You should go to the top floor of my lab and practice a battle with my battle aid. New quest, a real trainer battle. Okay, I think it was L for the trainer? Yeah, quest log. Professor Yuke has suggested I go to the top floor of the lab to challenge the battle aid Okay, to so I guess I'm going to go upstairs here. And I'm going to battle Professor Yuke's battle aid. What's up, bud? Okay, challenge accepted. Go, Rattata. Are you ready? Bring it on. Oh, no way. Okay, Mudkip, we can do this. Fight. Mudkip. Tackle, Mudkip. He used Tail Whip. No, not my defense. Okay, Mudkip, come on, we can do it. Mudkip. Use another tackle. I think we've got it in the corner, Mudkip. Just one more tackle should take it down. Yes! Yes, Mudkip, we did it! Ah, just learned Mud Slap. I got, oh, level six! Yes! Beautiful. Level seven, too! Ah, oh, quest complete, a real trainer battle. Oh, no. My, my quest dialogue's a little broken. Still requires a bit more bug testing, it looks like. Oh, that electric fence is shocking Pokemon to death there, Professor Yuke. Just figured I'd let you know. Ding, ding, da do ding. Nope. Yeah, I had to I had to do the sound effect uh, because otherwise it, you know, it doesn't have one, so. Ah, so you defeated my battle aid that easily, hmm? You seem to have some real potential. I'd like you to have this. It's the technical machine for return. You can use TM27 to teach return to a Pokemon. Return is an attack that gets stronger the closer you are with your Pokemon. I know you'll be able to use it to its full potential. You've learned all you can from me. If you want to, go home and sleep tonight. Set out on the gravel path tomorrow towards Aka Harbor. Complete. Oh, yay. You have anything else to say? I have one more thing to ask of you, Dr. Darok. I was recently bl brought this strange, powerful, mysterious stone that I believe holds the key to something astounding. Since you're headed through there anyway, do you think you could take this to the lab in Aku Harbor? Yeah, sure. Sweet. Okay. So, yeah, it is dark, I guess. So I'm going to go home. Oh, oh man, it's very dark. Very, very dark indeed. I just, I can't see anything off in the distance except for that beautiful glowstone. Uh, nope, that's, that's Antonio's house. I definitely don't want to go in there at night. Okay. Hi, Mom, I'm back. Uh, your mother's very proud of you. You know that, right? Yes, I know that. Thank you. New quest, the great and powerful. L. Professor Yuk has asked me to take the strange stone to a lab in Aku Harbor. I wonder what they will find out about it. Okay. Cool, let's do that then. We're on the road. Okay, here we go. Let's see, I'm going to move some of this stuff around so I've got a more organized inventory. Let's see, I don't need that or that or that down there. All right, cool. So come on, Mudkip, let's go. We're on our way. We're on Route 401 now. We're headed to Aku Harbor. I'm getting hungry, so I hope it hope we get there soon. But I've got a little money. And uh, I don't think I think I think there should be somewhere that I can buy some food there. Hello. Ah, cool. Found an antidote. Ooh, it's Munchlax. Can I fight you? Oh fish. crap, no, I don't want to fight that. Man, there's some tough Pokemon out here. I hear you, Rattata. I just killed a Rattata. 
just a minute ago. No! Stay away from me. I don't want to fight you. Aha! I dodged it. No! Hey, look! Here we are. It's a Pokeball. I found something. A burn heal! Yes! Ah, fantastic. It's so pretty out. Really, I... Just the way the sun hits the Yuin region in the middle of the day is... There's nothing like it. What does this say? Trainer tip. It's hard to avoid wild Pokemon. Ah! Level 9 Shinx? I don't know about that. I don't know if I can fight that. Voltorb level 10. Oh, nuts. Okay, okay, Mud Mudsla Kip. Mud Kip. We can uh, Mud Slap him. Yeah, hit him with Mud Slap. Charge, his special defense. Mud Slap. Oh, there goes his accuracy, Mud and it's super effective. Um, Mud Kip. Hit him with another Mud Slap. But miss with Tackle, yes. Exactly what I want. Yes, perfect. Mud Slap again. Mud Kip. Oh, yes, Mud Kip. We are the best. Mudkip, we are gonna be Mudkip. Pokemon Masters. Oh, did I catch Voltorb? Did I catch it? Come on. Yes. 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 Mudkip. No! Don't you dare hit Mudkip with Tackle. Mudkip, I'm gonna throw another Pokeball. Oh. oh, the suspense. The suspense is killing me. Did I catch it? Did Mudkip. I catch it? Did I catch it? Oh. Mudkip. Uh, yes. Mudkip, we caught a Voltorb. Level 10. Yeah. Sweet. Wow, oh, well that's cool. Spiro, huh? Level 13? Ah, oh, my Voltorb could kick your ass, dude. Although I'm I'm going to go a little bit this way. Just a, just a touch. Some Pokemons are having a battle over there. Hello, what's your name, Joseph? Aka Harbor is just up ahead. The relaxing breeze coming off the water is so soothing. Well, thank you, Joseph. That's good to know. I'm pretty low on food. I'm very hungry. Oh, uh, now that we're here, I hope... I hope... Root for what the heck? Just what? Oh dear. Okay, so I'm having some shader bugs. <laughs> Onkin, huh? Hey, buddy, what's up? Wow, you have a Pokemon. I want to grow up to be just like you. Well, thanks. I appreciate that a lot. This this looks suspiciously like a trap. It's not a trap. Um, it's just a very poorly used. Oh, hello, Lorraine. Oh no. I've lost my precious ring. Could you help me find it? I feel incomplete without my precious. Okay. That's a little strange. Ooh, Mart. Pokemart. Yeah. Pokemart sales clerk. Uh, I'd like to shop. Yes. Okay, steaks. First thing, steaks. Um, so I can eat. And then second thing, ooh, Oran Berry. Uh, I might want that. Yeah, okay, an Oran Berry. And, uh, oh, I'm down to seven now, huh? Uh, okay, I guess a po Oh, look, Dusk Balls. I want to save up for some Dusk Balls. Till then, though, I think I'll just save the rest of what I got here. Oh, buy any of my, buy any of my stuff? Resales guy? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, potion. I'll sell him a couple potions. Yeah, sweet. Okay, that's a that's an okay deal, I guess. So, yeah, that's that. I wonder where this um laboratory is that I'm supposed to be going to. Oh, the water's so pretty. Okay, so let's see. I'm headed this way. The Aku Harbor Lab. Okay. Uh, what do you have? The <laughs> fossilologist. Okay, fossilologist. Oh, you sent you here with an item and maybe a fossil. Try putting it in the cleaning machine upstairs. Okay, cool. Covered fossil. It is a fossil. Neat. 
What the heck? Oh, it's green. That's a boss Pokemon. They're they're really boss. Uh, I think that's supposed to take a minute to clean, so I'm just gonna leave it there for now. And I think maybe you'll find out what's what what it is in the next episode. That sounds about right. I wonder if there's anything else to check out here. Oh, jeez. That's a high-level Pokemon. Uh, ah, yes. Here's the Poke Center. Hello, Nurse Joy. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. We can, we can restore your Pokemon to full health. What is this place? This is a Pokemon Center, silly. We heal injured Pokemon and, and act as a hub for other trainer necessities, like the PC or the Pokemart. Um, what can I do here? Behind me are machines you can use to restore your Pokemon back to full health. To my left is a PC which allows you to store and retrieve your Pokemon since a trainer can carry only six Pokemon with them at a time. In the lobby, you'll find a sales representative for the massive sales conglomerate started by Silphco and Kanto, the Pokemart. There's a trading station upstairs where you can trade your Pokemon safely with other trainers. There's also a traveling athlete here named Antonio who runs from town to town. He's usually happy to let you come along with him. Uh-huh. Uh, would you heal my Pokemon? The machines behind me can be used to restore your Pokemon to full health. Use them at your leisure, Dr. Darok. I could do it for you if you'd like. Yes, please, heal my Pokemon for me. Yeah, okay, Mudkip's fully healed now. Antonio, what's up? Hi there, my name is Antonio. Yeah, yeah, I know that. So I can travel back to, yeah, I can travel back to New Drop Town like this. Cool. Ah, uh, that's exactly, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, oh, hey, what do you have to say? Sparrow. I've lived in Aka Harbor for as long as I can remember, fishing for Pokemon every day. Cool. Uh, well, I figure it's probably about time to get back to that fossil now. It's probably done cleaning. I wonder if there's anything up here. Team Plasma Grunt. Hey kids, you're standing in the way of progress. Teach this punk a lesson, Venipede. Okay, whatever. Bring it on, man. Whoa, Venipede's running off. Your Venipede's not exactly um, raring to go, man. He seems pretty scared. Alright. Mudkip hit Venipede with Mud Slap. Oh no, I've been poisoned. Crap. Uh, now hit it with Tackle. Oh no. It's gonna rock me in the face. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing good. No. Not Screech. No. I also took poison damage. Ah! Hit him with Mud Slap again. Mudkip. No! Mudkip! Voltorb, it's your turn! Voltorb! Hit it with a sonic boom! Voltorb. Yeah! Right on, Voltorb! Sonic boom! Yes! I beat him, and I got X Scissor, Gyro Ball, and an Electorizer. Awesome! That's so cool. I'm gonna have to go back to the Poke Center here in a second, but uh, I wanna see. Fossilologist. Yeah, okay, yeah, put it upstairs in the thing. I did that. Let's see, is it done? Cool, what is it? The Great and Powerful. Quest complete, The Great and Powerful. Why is it called The Great and Powerful? Wow, it was a fossil. Give that to me, I'll revive it. Okay. I've restored the fossil into an Ammonite. Isn't science amazing? Oh my god, it's Lord Helix. 